These photos are causing quite a stir on social media. A post with these photos claims nurses at the Durham VA were not properly tending to patients. So CBS North Carolina investigates took the photos right to the Durham VA, who says the post doesn't tell the whole story. Our Jonathan Rodriguez is live there tonight with more. Jonathan. Yeah, Sharon, the VA's number one goal is to give veterans the number one highest quality care, right? Well, we talked to one veteran and his wife who were right here at the Durham VA's emergency room who said what they saw this past weekend was anything but the highest level of care. And we do want to say in these images that we're showing you, we have blurred their faces. We were told just now by the VA that two of the veterans involved did not want these images shown. But this story has been spread all over the country, so we wanted to get to the bottom of what actually happened. So again, take a look at these images that were provided to us by Stephen McMiniman, who was a veteran himself and his wife Hannah who were receiving treatment here. They said what they saw absolutely broke their heart. They saw three veterans, one in a wheelchair who was bent over in so much pain. All of them had to wait hours before they received care. One who could not even sit right in his chair and another veteran who was actually laying on the floor because he was in so much pain. Again, they said they were not tended to and then a nurse was very rude to them. So we immediately took these stories and these images to the director, Deanne Seekins here. She says this was all a misunderstanding. She says they went through their surveillance photos. They went through the actual medical records and she believes that these veterans did receive proper care. Here's an excerpt of the interview we just finished with her. Take a listen. I have to tell you I, I feel very, very good because those veterans received high quality care. I've also had the opportunity to personally reach out to two of the three veterans that are in the, the posting and um, both of those were veterans who did not give their permission did not know they were being photographed and have asked us to help them figure out a way that they can be taken off because they're not one veterans extremely upset because he said I'm a very private person you know I was here I was sick I didn't need someone taking my photograph and then um, the other veteran uh, he he was apologizing to us he said I didn't feel good I got up I laid down on the floor I'm sorry I did that we're like no you know don't apologize to us we're here to care for you we're here to ensure that you're treated with dignity and respect and the third veteran we've reached out to but have been unable to make contact with him yet Now, Seekins did say she made it clear that the nurse involved and in question has been removed from patient care pending an investigation on whether or not she was rude to these patients. But she said they actually did receive the proper uh, primary care that they actually needed. Now, we brought these concerns and what she said back to the McMinimans. They said they are not backing down. They know what they saw and that these veterans were, in fact, mistreated. Our Amy Cutler is going to be speaking with them. We'll tell you their side of the story. More coming up tonight at 11. Guys, back to you. All right, look forward